Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you my mom's recipe for Korean style spicy braised pork short ribs. We call it 매운 돼지 갈비찜. I have bone in pork short ribs which I have trimmed, fed off the pork and rinsed. Firstly, I'm going to soak the pork in cold water for an hour to remove any impurities and blood. Meanwhile, let's make the sauce by firstly blending together onion, canned pineapple pieces, garlic, and ginger until it forms a smooth puree. I add soy sauce and sugar to the puree to create the sauce. Once the soaking is done, rinse and drain. Bring about 4 cups of water to a boil and dunk the pork into the boiling water and cook it until it boils again about 5 minutes to further eliminate impurities. I rinse the pork with cold water and set it aside. In a wok, I heat up 1 tablespoon of oil and dry chilies until they're fragrant. In goes the pork and mix well to coat the pork in the chili infused oil. After reducing the heat, I'll pour half of the sauce over the meat followed by water enough to cover the meat about 2 to 2 and a half cups. I'll turn up the heat to medium high now and let the dish boil. Now reduce the heat to medium low again and braise the pork for 25 minutes covered. While the pork is braising, cut the carrots into 1.5 inch chunks. And round the edges like this. I will chop up the onion into similar sized pieces. For fresh shiitake mushrooms, cut the mushrooms into similar size pieces. Or use whole mushrooms if you want. I can remove the dry chilies before they break down. After 25 to 30 minutes, depending on the size of the pork pieces, I'll add the remaining half of the sauce. And the carrot pieces to the dish and cook it for another 5 to 10 minutes until the carrots are tender. Finally, I'll stir in the shiitake mushrooms and onion. Half to one cup of water, as well as chopped chili pepper, such as Vietnamese red chilies, and return to boil. To finish up, stir in half tablespoon of sesame oil, ground pepper, and last but not least, chopped spring onions. This dish is a variation of the traditional Korean braised beef short rib, which is kalbitjim, and for the ones who like extra jazziness and spiciness. You can definitely adjust the amount of the chilies to cater for your tolerance to spiciness. I hope you enjoy making and eating this dish as much as I do. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, keep cooking!